Yo, it's I'm recording this. It's the morning of the 16th, and honestly, I am so excited that 2020 is like almost over because this year, like, like let's just ignore COVID for a second, right? Like, even though it's impossible, like this year has just sucked. Like, I'm broke, and like I I know like it, it's mean to like look at like just yourself, but like I only control myself, and like I just. <sighs> I've been so broke this year. Like the only time I wasn't broke was when I was in unemployment, and like I didn't, I didn't even like being on unemployment. I just felt like I was mooching. And honestly, like 2021 isn't even gonna be much better because like COVID's still gonna be a thing. And like I don't mind like wearing a mask and staying indoors. Like I stay indoors and stuff anyway. But like it's just like having the option to like do stuff that was nice, and like now I can't even do that. And you know I'm not. I'm, I'm be honest. Like I'm like a eat the rich kind of person. Not like that. Cause like I know all their money is not in liquidity. But like. You know the rich get richer you know and it's, it's kind of it sucks to see but speaking of rich i saw uh, uh jeff bezos's ex-wife i think her name is sandra mccormick i think she got she got like 40 billion from their divorce and she's donated like six billion or something she's the good kind of rich like her like jack dorsey bill gates they're like the good type of rich and not saying that they're like saints or anything you know there's there's different types of good rich bad like you know you know what i mean and just like reflecting on my 2020 even during the major quarantine like from like what march to may or ish you know what i'm talking about like that major quarantine at least in the u.s i can't honestly think of anything i did productive and that's that's not on anybody that's on me i don't know i i don't know if i'm the only one but my motivation for everything was just shot in those couple months it sucked i'm usually a pretty motivated person but i just couldn't even bring myself to do it or do anything for that matter actually i guess the one thing i did do is start watching tiktok because now i spend like 13 hours tiktok for me is literally a part-time job and it's, a, it's it's kind of out of hand but we're, we're just gonna ignore that i have a pretty packed day today i uh i got a webinar from a from a place i might go to grad school to i got drive for a long time i got i got a good bit of stuff going on today also i checked the analytics and the reason my video on monday did so well is because i put cyberpunk sucks in the title i gotta be like a like scarce and like put, if one thing happens you see use phase and stuff but like one thing happens someone just put them in like a thumbnail or something i'm not gonna do that that's scummy but like people are like oh thank god 2020 is almost over but like i honestly think 21 i don't think it can get maybe it can get worse i don't know if it'll quote unquote get worse but i don't think it's gonna be spiritual successor like 20 2020 that like people are hoping for Yo, that rock was nice. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a, like a glass half empty kind of guy, but like, I, I just don't see 21 being like exponentially good. But I hope, I hope I'm wrong. This is, I mean, I'm only 20, but this is definitely like the worst year I've lived through. Yo, this priority pass system that, that came out in the update yesterday is so nice. So you can click flex, right? And it'll give you like, it'll, it'll flex means you can choose like any of the three roles. It's basically the same as like doing the, except you can't do three anymore. But with flex, you get into any of the roles and you get more like points toward a ticket for a win. Once you get a ticket, these wait times will go down a lot, which I'm assuming it probably matters more in comp. Yeah, see like two minutes, but... You can see like in quick play it doesn't even matter everything's so short like this is usually like seven minutes now it's so short and i love it so now i can play dps for videos which is way more entertaining than anything else anything else anyway i know like nobody except for like me and like two other people care about overwatch but for quality of life i can actually get videos done a lot easier now and they'd be a lot more entertaining if you're actually watching honestly with youtube i kind of kind of just like listen to videos now even if it's like a commentary like this or something like, like a jeb video or something like i mostly just listen to it so there's no reason like I don't, I don't care about the gameplay I more care about the personality of the person if you can't tell that's also who i really get a lot of like inspiration from for my uh for my videos i really like the style of jev's like cut cons and how you're how he's kind of just like it's his personality like yes he's like really good at call of duty it's also his personality that's like carrying the video and i really like that i'd rather make a community from like a personality like i'd rather my knit my my niche my niche i'd rather my personality be like my calling card not like a game or anything you know i feel like that's better for like long-term success and like in the short term you know and that's all i want i just want to i just want a cool community i really just want like want to have a community that i can like share stuff with and like not only that but like i want to i want to get to know you guys too you know like i want to want to be involved which is cool like just starting out like how i am right now because like you know some people get to be here from the ground up and then some people might see this video a year from now you know it's, it's really cool that's the goal anyway i just want to be here for the long haul you know but I'm going to leave this video short. Like the video if you liked it. Just like it if you didn't. Please comment. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.